Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game tonight. The New York Knights host the Cairo Cats at Mark Light Field, home of the Miami Hurricanes. Well, it's a night one. game. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Cairo Cats going up against the Knights. Each team is one and one. This is from the new mini season for the monthly we'll awards the right after this. I'm playing both seasons now the uh, team affinity season 3 and the new monthly awards because it's got some pretty so good stuff on it so this is tonight, from the Domingo monthly Herman. awards Chris, mini season yeah, Domingo Herman on the mound for the night. He's out there on the mound, carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good. We split the first two games of the season in New Orleans with the Pinheads. We lost opening day in a sixth-inning affair, and we won yesterday to split that series. And that is strike one. The entire league, oddly enough, is one in one right now. The entire GBL. That clips a corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. All in one now. It's not as stressful as he makes it sound. Center field. Rodriguez Boog thought that was funny. It. Makes the grab for the second out. That is third. The catcher, number 14. Here's a big power threat. Logan Ohapi. Ohapi. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next offering is foul back. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Good inning, Scored good inning. Over top of the curveball. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Cairo and New York scoreless. Welcome back. And on the mound in this one, from Valdez. No so great, so we're going to get to hear about his cologne. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is Leo huge. Rodriguez, 571, with a homer and an RBI. The line solo pitch. home run. Right now, it's only the third game of the season. Julio Rodriguez, the next to hit, takes this outside. Statistics shouldn't be screwed up yet. You wouldn't think. Line drive. Pulls it yeah. in for the out. That was and almost that was over his head. You have to remind yourself, it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your yeah, mind, see, you Shohei's stats are not right. He had a home run in the previous game. A big three-run homer, so his stats are not correct. Shohei Otani. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Hammered down the right side, but foul. He said that one a long Chris way. Chris Valdez has turned into one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long time. Kind of an old soul, boob. Bounce to the right side. Shohei's on. But it's off his glove. Base hit. He puts it in his pocket. Safe at first without a play. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some. So that was nicely done to beat the odds. Didn't really put it in his pocket. It bounced off his glove. He didn't have a play. Wasn't one the defense could make a play on. Here's Wander Franco. He's been playing very well over the first couple of games of the season. Yeah. 
Yeah, just goes about his business, gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play, and just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes him pitch better, he believes. Oh. And he chases that one. Now wow. two away. And Chris, that's a win. That had a lot of action on it. Keeping him off base. And the defense no breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. It's Aaron Judge now. Aaron's been playing good so far in the first series rips that one. of the season. And that'll do it. So we got one complete here in Miami. No score. Drury, Kelnick, and Prince do up for Cairo. Back here at the ballpark, Brandon Drury to the plate. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. That's strike one. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. We will. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. He was way out in front of that. Here's Jerry Kelnick. <coughs> Swings and misses. It's 0-1. Second inning here, no score. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. This is one of my <coughs> my creations. In there for strike one. Mark Light Fields here. Pretty cool story. There a was a pick in out of San Diego basic State. version online that I downloaded. And there was a Swing lot a wrong with it. And it's on two. He's in a great so spot right here. Fixed it up. Changed quite a bit. All four pitches in play right here, partner. And made it to what it is now. Here's the O2. Stays alive. The 0 2. Into left center for a base hit. Just over his head. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Corey. So up next, Corey Jones. Jolts. Swinging a foul straight back. France, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. He goes Got down him. looking. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Each team has a hit. Neither team has crossed the plate. Bottom of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Here comes a pitch. 
on the ground to third. Zips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Cody. Bellinger. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Oh, great uh, stop. The thought throw. that one was going to get through. They had him out. played perfectly. Oh, great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And here is Matt Chapman. The outfield playing into pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. He doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stops, That's so he's going to have right. efficiently. And it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Framber Valdez won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. He pitched pretty well. I don't really know why they're taking him out already. Number 56 <coughs> gets the call now from the pen. Zach White. And now it's Christian Walker. He only gave up one hit, I think. First. Chapman back in on a dive. That one is absolutely belted. Walker drives that one deep to left Ooh, field. Off the scoreboard and gone. The Knights are on the board. Christian one. Walker goes yard. Lead, it's two 403 nothing. feet off the scoreboard, and it's 2 nothing New York. You could tell by the sound of the bat that was going a long way. To the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. And now here is Jonah Heim in the air center field. Rodriguez heads towards it. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a two-nothing ball game. You knew it was going a long way. New inning getting started. Leading Stepping in, Kevin count. Smith. The third baseman, Kevin Smith. Yeah, let him pitch one. One batter. The pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Nice job. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Here comes the manager out of the dugout and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Domingo Herman will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. You pitched a great game, sir. Thank you very much. On the mound now, Joel Pyams. He's being eased into the game here. 0 and with 1 empty. with a blown save. ERA of 4 5 0. Oh. His first appearance was not a good one. Matter of fact, he gave up a. Game-winning home run, walk-off home run in New Orleans on opening day. So, see if we can turn that around here. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Walker right there to make the grab. Two up, two down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Julio Rodriguez. 
And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. Strike one. All one for count. Late on that oh, fastball. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. And down nice win. And that'll do it. In a three inning game, a 2 0 win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice job to jump ahead and a great job by the pitching staff to shut them out. 2 0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Domingo Herman, the winner for Amber Vandal's take. Valdez takes the loss. Joel Payamps earns save number one on this young season here on the monthly awards mini season. There's Walker's blast. That was a big one. The New York Knights scored two runs on three hits. The Cairo Cats, no runs on one lone hit. Domingo Herman is the player of the game. He got the win, two and a third innings. No runs, one hit. He struck out six. Miami Scott save number one. Christian Walker, one for one with a homer and two RBIs. Matt Chapman, one for one with a run scored. And Shohei Otani, one for one as well. So Domingo Herman gets the win. He's 1-0. and Joel Piamps to save, lowering his ERA to 3.38. So the Knights down the Cats 2-0 at Mark Light Field, a night game. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.